Hello, it's Gem Games here once again, and in this video we are going to add a custom character to our game. So yeah, let's get started. If you already have your ca custom character downloaded, you can just import it to this project. But if you don't, uh, you want to go to the Epic Games Launcher, and here you want to click the Unreal Engine. When now you want to go to the mar marketplace, I'm already here, and after that you want to go, go to the browse and to the characters, and you want to make the max price free. And here you can find some uh, free characters, so I'm going to use this stylist character kit casual 01, so I will click it, and yeah. Then I will add it to my project. And here I can see my endless runner at the project and it's adding it. Okay, now it's done. Let's go back to our project. We should have a new folder here. So SCK Casual 01. Okay. Here, now you want to know if your character is using UE5 or UE4 mannequin or skeleton. So you want to go to the models. Actually, you want to go, you want to find your skeleton from here. So I will go to the mannequin character mesh. And here you can see I am using UA, UE4 mannequin. So what we will have to do, because I will show you. Now let's go back to the content and to the third person and to the blueprints. Actually, let's do one more thing. Let's change this blueprints folder color to some shade of blue. So new color and something like that. Okay. Now let's go to the blueprints and let's open the PP third person character. And here, if we go to the viewport and we check, uh, click the character mesh, and now if we change the character mesh to the new mesh, the animations won't work. So I will show you what, how to fix it. So let's click this and search for the characters. So mesh PC01 or yeah. Let's see. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And now if we select the anime class, we select the ABP many and we compile, you can see it's not working. And if we go to play, it is not working. So we will fix it now. So what we will have to, have to do, we want to go to the characters folder, to the mannequins and to the animations. And here we can find the APP many animation blueprint. So we want to right click it and we want to retarget animation assets, duplicate and retarget animation blueprint. Now, and of course, if you are already using the UE5 uh, mannequin or character that uses UE5 uh, skeleton, you don't have to do this, but if you're using the same as I am, then you have to do it. So now you want to go to the RTG UE5 many UE4 many. okay? And yeah, from here you want to select your uh, uh, character that you are using. So mesh mesh PC01 like this. Now from the folder we want to change it. Let's go to the third person blueprints and actually let's right click the blueprints and let's create a new folder. Let's call it animations. Now let's select it. Okay. After that, let's retarget. Okay. Now we want to rename this app many to app player, for example. Okay. And now we want to go back to the pp third person character. We want to click our mesh and we want to change this anime class. Computer. A P P player here. 
And as you can see, the animations are working. And if we compile and save and call to play, let's see. Okay, my game is lagging a little bit, but the animations are working. But one more thing, you might get some error and it might be because of this. Let's open the animation blueprint that we just created. Here on the, when we go to the anim graph, you can see we have this control rig here and that is not working with that uh, UE4 character. So yeah, we will have to delete this and we won't actually need it on our game. So yeah, let's connect this back on, let's compile. And now we have got rid of that error error also. So yeah, we can close this and yeah, everything is working. Only my game is a little bit laggy for some reason, but yeah. So yeah, I think that was all for this video. If you like what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe for more. And yeah, hope you have a great day and see you in the next one. Bye.